yeah and like i love the way he described julian's um you know the way he described things he described it as cryptic poetic ciphers yeah, um, does, which does. are great and i love the fact you can remember like a lot of them like do you have a favorite one of one of those uh, i think he would say things like hey you know the drum set well it sounds like the whole drum set is at a party but the toms can't get in you know they're, just, they're, they're sad they're sitting on the sidewalk because they can't get in can you make it so they're all at the same party like things like that yeah great and uh yeah it's interesting when he said julian like you know with with most bands or every band that you worked with the lead singer was always raring to go and record but julian was a bit different right right all the singers are just basically waiting for the band to finish their track so they could prance out and have the spotlight shine on them and you know show everybody how great they are and julian was actually like reluctant he was like, oh, he took a big sigh and <laughs> walked out he didn't really want to do a sound check he just wanted to you know, like can we just start recording i don't want to like do this and it was like i'm thinking what is this attitude you know i'm not used to that and it was, it was very endearing after a while <laughs> 